Are you a bag of nerves? Are you a nervous wreck? Are you flying off the handle? Are you anxious, afraid, edgy? Well, if you are not, you know, don't, well done you. Let's all celebrate how great you are. But if you are those things, then let's do a Kundalini meditation exercise to help us deal with it, to help us to deal with those tendencies, to centralize our energy, to bring us down. Now, I've not done it yet. I'm anxious a lot of the time. I'm always on edge, I'm always flying off the handle. I'm getting a lot better than I used to be actually. I've improved and the reason I've improved is because I meditate and I do stuff like this the whole time. Now we're gonna do this exercise, it's pretty simple. It involves a hand position like this and it involves closing the eyes, it says nine temps. I mean, who wants to do maths when they're closing their eyes? You've got to close your eyes nine temps, not eight temps and certainly not half. That would be an absolute farce and not three quarters, nine temps. You basically close them and then as Annabelle said, open them a little bit. So close them, open them a little bit, and that's the position of the eyes. Now, we nasally breathe, it, it, deep inhalations, and we hold for 15, 20 seconds. And then we exhale fully, I think also through the nose hole. Yeah, through the snout hole. And then you hold out for 15, 20 seconds. And we repeat this process for three to five minutes. Let's run through those details again. Hand position, left hand in front of the heart, a couple of inches in front of the chest. Right hand on top of that, thumbs touching. Eyes just a little tiny bit open. Nine tenths shut, one tenth open. Inhale through the nose hole. Hold for 15, 20. Exhale completely after 15, 20. Hold again for 15, 20. And that's it. I actually am starting to feel pretty relaxed even now in the demo stage. So I think this is a real cool meditation. So if you're feeling anxiety, if you're feeling like you could fly off the handle, if you need to bring yourself down and keep yourself calm, we've got something for you. Let's face it, the techniques our culture has given us, have a glass of wine, smoke a joint, eat some chocolate, watch some porn, watch the telly, stare at your phone, starting to not work, isn't it? starting to fall apart. So let's look at some of these arcane traditional methods from various cultures, but for now we're focusing on Kundalini and see if they are effective. Let me know in the comments if you find it to be effective. And if you want more stuff like this, join up to my mailing list. The, the link is in the description, not in the description, I mean that's not even a word, in the description. Go to it, you can join up my mailing list, you'll get much more stuff like this and you'll absolutely love it. Okay, right, so we remember these positions, don't we? Front of the chest, just like that. Inhale, snout. Exhale, now it hold for 15 to 20 on the inhale, hold for 15, 20 on the exhale, but always with Kundalini. We begin with what I call like the tuning signal of Ong Namor Guru Dev Namor. And I was told to rub the old hands together. I've not got a scarf on me at this time, so I'm running a real risk there, because as you know, the limitless forces of the universe are pretty keen for us to have a little scarf on the old bumps, but I ain't got one. So let's just see, perhaps the energy will come flying out my cranium, right out of my top chakra there. What's the top one called again? Sahasra. Oh, that's Crown? <laughs> We've got to do a proper Sanskrit word. It's a Sahasrara. Yeah, Sahasrara is that one. This little guy up here, this cheeky devil. Oh no, that's Ajna. I can't get it up, this shirt's too tight. What a nice shirt though, made for me by that lovely Spanish geezer. Pal, he's called. Anyway, let's not get into that. Let's rub the hands together and do the Ong Namor Guru Dave Namor bit. Scarfless though we may be. Ong Namor Guru Dave Namor Ong score from one to ten on how anxious or edgy you feel. See if it makes a difference to you. Left hand, right hand outer, thumbs touching, eyes nine tenths closed, 
inhale through the nose, hold, exhale through the nose, hold. The hold should be 15 to 20 seconds. And close with three sat arms. So no. Did you give yourself a little score for how it felt out of 10? Thinking about it now, I didn't feel that anxious. I thought maybe it was like four out of 10 or something. But now I feel proper chilled out. I mean, that amounts to a breath control exercise. Even if you don't believe in the mysticism around Kundalini, the paraphernalia, the dressing up, the meaning of the chants, all stuff which I'm well open to, believing that they were retrieved by rishis traveling into spaces of psychic intelligence through you know, techniques such as this and retrieving back data, mining realms that we find hard to understand, even if you're not into all that kind of stuff. Controlling your breath and holding your breath is gonna alter your state of mind, you know? It's gonna alter your being, your being is contingent, dependent obviously, upon respiration. It was a bit where I felt a bit like um, 
crampy actually, where I felt like my lungs was, or made most likely I suppose some of that tissue between the ribs or something, I felt something like tighten up a little bit. Because I guess it's an irregular breathing pattern and I do various types of different breath work. But the fact is now I feel super chilled out. I feel very relaxed and I reckon this technique will really work. Like, you know, imagine if you find yourself anxious, about to lose your temper, pissed off, you do something like this. It changes your state, changes your perspective. And most of the problems that you experience in your life are as a result of perception, your personal perspective of them. Not all, there are objectively challenges in the world, I get that. But certainly this exercise is helpful. Let me know what you thought of it. Respond, we read the comments. So let me know what you feel about it. Thanks.